Here we continue our exploration of Bessie's sequences. I have here the four kings and the four queens. And as usual, I will have to play the role of both the performer and the spectator. So as the performer, what I would do is I would just pick up the four kings or queens for that matter. Okay. Um, why don't we go ahead and just slide these over. So you don't need to have anything written down. All you need to do is remember one of these sequences, whichever one is easier for you to kind of hold on to. You could do the 1001-0110 or the ones with the X's and the O's. So now there's some interesting, quote, symmetry to these. So for example, 1001, if you can remember that, the second half is obtained by just replacing zeros with ones and ones with zeros here. So the one becomes a zero, the two zeros here become two ones, and this one becomes a zero. So that's just a way to help you remember this sequence of eight objects here, okay? Or if you want to remember the X's and O's. So in my mind's eye, perhaps I'm thinking of the kings as the ones, okay? So here we go. So there's a one right there, there's a king. I need a couple of queens after it. Now you just make it look like you're just kind of randomly inserting these things. And that's what it's going to look like, by the way. So right now, what do I have? I have a one king, two zeros, two queens, and another one, a king. Okay. Now I need a zero, or in other words, a queen right there. Okay and then a couple of kings, and then a queen, okay? So now it has, quote, this pattern to it, this structure to it, okay? And it ends up that this is a very, very special structure in the realm of mathematical card magic, whether it is known yet or not, it will be. <laughs> okay, so, um, so you're from the point of view of the spectator, you just kind of like randomly inserted those and you're going to give the spectator a chance to mix these anyway. Okay, so um, the spectator can do all of the mixing from this point on or if you don't really trust them, you can do it. What we're going to do is we're going to deal out into four piles from left to right and we're going to give the spectator the freedom to choose stacking from left to right or right to left. It really is a free choice. So maybe they say from left to right. Okay, that's just fine. Okay, let's try that again. Which way would you like it stacked? Left to right again. Okay, that's just fine. Let's do another one. This time you want to do from right to left. Okay. Now you need to know as the performer, you can have the spectator do as many of these as they like. You can do them forever, okay? And it won't undermine the end result, as you'll see. Okay, so maybe we'll just do one more. Okay, and this time you want them stacked from left to right. Very good, okay. Now, the magic will occur by following this pattern as we deal out the cards. So in your mind's eye, think of, and I've done this before, but I'll do it again here. So think of these eight cards. The top one is, quote, one. The next one's a, quote, zero, zero. And then that's a one. And then you can think of a break there if you like. This one's a zero, one, one, zero. Okay, so all we need to do is gather up all of the ones into one pile, and then the remaining cards will be the other pile of, quote, zeros, okay? So look, so I put, and, and you can do this with your eyes closed. That's the important thing, and that's actually something I recommend as a strategy. You can just tell the spectator that, hmm, you're getting a feel for the cards here, and, um, Hmm. the order that they are in now after all of that random mixing by the spectator. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to try, and you can tell them up front or have it as a surprise at the end. You can tell them up front 
that you're going to separate the kings and the queens from each other, okay? Um, okay, so in your mind's eye, you're seeing one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. Okay, so one would go here, and then a couple of zeros, and then a one, and then a zero, a couple of ones, and then a zero. Okay, now what you're guaranteed to do is separate. Now you won't necessarily know whether this is the pile of kings or queens, but the point is to not sell that, not claim that you know that, because you don't. All you know is that you've separated the kings, and it ended up that they were, but that was just serendipity, by the way. <laughs> Um, the kings from the queens. And this will work every single time. So just follow the steps in this video and the mathematics will not fail you. So thanks for watching and take a look at the other demonstrations using this Bessie sequence.